Our tiny house mansion just arrived. Stay tuned. <laughs> One step closer. I got you out of here! So guys, it's bright and early in the morning. We got Gage up here this morning. Hi Gage. Gage says, um, somebody's here for you. So I uh, went outside and thought, oh wow, totally forgot the uh, carport guys were coming today. And if you thought we were crazy because we live in a school bus, well we are building a house out of this carport frame. We've been wanting to build a house for a little bit. Um, our, our plans keep changing. At this point, it doesn't look like the plans are gonna change from here. On our property, we've got a lot of stuff built out of carports. We've got the greenhouse. The greenhouse right there uh, that we've had built out of carport. Currently, we're living in the school bus, but right over here is the mobile home that when we moved on the property was here. So we've been living in that for the past few years. On the other side of the greenhouse is part of a carport, um, a 12 by 55 lean-to that was built on the side of the, the mobile home to make it a little bigger storage garage and whatever else I sell carports at my shop in town and I was able to get a super deal on all this carport and you see behind me here we've got some other carport frames uh, we're gonna make another greenhouse like an 18 by 45 greenhouse that's actually the exact same thing that Zach at American Homestead has is an 18 by 45 um, or an 18 by 40 is what he has but either way it's made out of a carport frame uh, I talked to him at a convention that we went to one time and uh, said man that's a great idea so that's kind of where I got the idea to make the uh, greenhouse. I talked to my carport company and they hooked me up with a crazy good deal because some of these what we call bows in the industry right here um, or these or trusses whatever you want to call them um, they were used um, for a display and they look really good so I told them I wanted a little bit bigger so they made some more uh, bows the exact same size this down here is called the bottom rail and they uh they made brand new bottom rails and made brand new legs for it which is eight foot legs right here so in total this um this building this structure is going to be um 26 by 40. this is not really a tiny house that's kind of why we are dubbing it a tiny house mansion <laughs> It's an unconventional style house. It's made, it's gonna be made out of a carport frame. You might think, man, that's stupid. Why are you doing that? That's junky. Or, you know, that's, uh, you, know, you know, it's a galvanized frame. Right, we're gonna have, you know, we're gonna have walls and, and you know, your studs and, and your typical stuff that you, when you build a house, um, you know, you have your walls and your studs and, and all that good stuff. So the frame of it is just gonna be the carport, but we're gonna have it structured with the structuring stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the lean-to that's on the side of the mobile home, um, after it was installed, I actually um, welded all the joints and uh, it really stiffened that thing up. So that's probably what we'll do with this as well. Um, then of course it's going to have wooden purlins on it and then we're going to sheet it and uh, insulate it really good. We just wanted to give you a quick little update on what we're going to be doing in the future, building our tiny house mansion. And uh, let us know in the comments below if you think that we are really crazy because a, we're living in a school bus. That that would be more crazy, I think, than this. I don't know. I don't know, but see, if you think about it, the day and age now, 
the the people the things that people live in are unconventional. You know, you have shipping containers, you have yurts, you've got carport houses, you've got school buses, you've got people living in RVs and traveling. I mean, you know, it's just unconventional, but that's okay because if it's cheaper and you can live in it and it's doable for your family, then do it. Our friends Mike and Lacey over at Big Pond Farm live in a yurt and uh, we've been wanting to get with them on an unconventional living uh, collaboration. We're trying to live life out of the box a little bit um, and plus this is going to be way cheaper than, than having somebody come in and build us a stick frame home. We're going to be able to do this ourselves and uh, hopefully you know do the entire project ourselves. That, that's my goal. Um, I think that we'll be able to save quite a bit of money um, we'll have to farm a few things out, such as doing the spray foam insulation and uh, a few other things. But, um, you know, that's where you got good friends and family to help out. But I think it'll be a good time. Um, but I don't know. I think living in the carport is a little crazier than living in a school bus. But <laughs> I'm a school bus nut. So anyway, let us know what you guys think. We will see you on the next video.